Live from the internet, it's the Dr. Tom the Frog Show! Hi-ho, this is Dr. Tom the Frog, and you're watching the Dr. Tom the Frog Show, where we talk about RPGs. Uh, super excited, we got another backdrop by uh, Jeff Brown, and you can check a link in the back of the show. Uh, out, but today, we have got, from across the pond, we've got David McGrogan. How are you doing, David? Hello, everyone. I'm doing fine. It's uh, the first day of spring here. It's, uh, it's like almost 20 degrees outside. It's fantastic, so I'm very happy. I'm feeling in a good mood today. Uh, you've got this game called uh, Ewans or Suin, and uh, is is it about like tort reform for American Southern people? What, what's up with that? <laughs> um, I don't know uh, the name. Um, I don't know. It's just what the the people in Ewan Suin call it Ewan Suin. So I'm just channeling their uh, their culture and their language, you know. So it's best not to ask me why why it's called that or where the name comes from. Um, you know, you just have to learn. Learn the language and, and figure it out for yourself, I guess. What? So what? What is this game? Well, it's not so much a game as really a, a kind of a setting. Really, I don't think you'd have to have Dungeons and Dragons or an equivalent to really uh, run it. I suppose. Although most of it is kind of neutral, and you could use it for any game that you wanted to play. It's more like a supplement, really. And the idea is it's a, it's a kind of like a toolbox or a, a collection of tables to allow uh, a dungeon master or a game master to create their own version of Yun Suin. So they can create a country, a land uh, that's very strange uh, in which to play games and run the games that they want to play. It's a table-filled resource setting creation monster? That sounds cool. That's a that's exactly what it is. Tell me more. Okay, so it's kind of, it's probably getting on for 325 pages, and I'd say about 80% of it is tables. And you roll dice and you consult the table, um, and it tells you uh, all kinds of interesting results. Like results like like critical hit look like how how in depth are these results? Are they are they customizable? Well, it depends on the table, um, and yeah, to some degree you can customize them yourself or you can come up with your, your own ideas. Uh, the idea is that the results uh, give you an inspiration, really, um, to allow you to come up with your own cool ideas. So it's sort of um, almost like a guide, really, to create your own version of the setting. What? Hold, hold on a second. I've got a little me in my throat. <coughs> <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I, so, which one's your favorite region? Oh, no, that's a difficult question. Um, I would have to say my favorite region is the one that's called the Mountains of the Moon. Uh, the reason it's my favorite is that that's where uh, Yun Suin originally came from. Um, I was running a game of uh, D and D with some friends. Uh, and I wanted to run a kind of version of D and D which is based on uh, ancient Tibet, because um, I started thinking about how D and D settings are often based on real world mythology, you know, like European mythology or uh, Arabian mythology or Chinese or something like that. But I'd never found anything to do with Tibet or Nepal, the Himalayas. So I started running a game set in something like a kind of fantasy version of the Himalayas. Uh, and that's where my idea for Yun Suin kind of first sprouted from. So that area of Yun Suin is called the Mountains of the Moon, and so it has some kind of sentimental attachment for me, I think. Oh, neat. That sounds, that's, that's really cool. What's the craziest table? What's the, crazy, what's the table <laughs> that people just love? Uh, the one, uh, for some reason, the one that has the most uh, interest is the one that allows you to create a ghost. So uh, let me just see if I've got the book lying around somewhere. Oh, Things you should show me. it off. I, I want to see. I heard it's really pretty. Here it is. So this is this is the book. Ian Um Let's see. I'll find the. Let me find the ghost table. So you can create um, like a. A ghost who is, uh, it gives you the details of what kind of ghost it is. Like, is it an old man or is it uh, 
girl or is it an insect or is it a fungus, a ghost fungus? Uh, then you can get its appearance. Uh, you know, is it uh, grossly fat or is it putrescent or extremely pale or something like that? And then you've got different methods of haunting. So some ghosts might like to skin their victims. And, uh, some ghosts might like to blast your sanity. Uh, some ghosts might want to give you strange diseases. Uh, and then there's all kinds of abilities as well. So people really like that one. That's one people always seem to mention in the reviews for some reason. Um, but there are loads more, as you can see. If, you, if I flick through the book, it's from quite a big... Quite a big book. <laughs> wow, that's, that's a lot of white and gray box text. That's great. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, that's Microsoft Word's uh, way of telling you that there's a table. Um, yeah, as if there's lots of white and white and uh, gray box text. Enough talk about you and Sun and, and mm. blogging and everything. I've got a serious question for you, David. Are you ready for your serious okay. question? Yes, I'm very. I'm absolutely 100% ready. Okay, well, this one's got a qualifier. Do you do you read or watch Game of Thrones? I have read all the books. I've never watched the TV series. Um, I'm kind good of enough, uh, good enough. Good enough. Okay. okay yeah. mm -hmm. Would you rather be a member of House Lannister or House Stark, and why? <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> I would have to say uh, Lannister, um, partly because. If you're in House Stark, it just seems to be uh, bad luck. Um, <laughs> uh, you just just the name seems to have uh, bad luck attached to it, uh, and also the Lannisters just seem to have more fun, don't they? I don't mean necessarily the incest. Uh, you know, you can set that to one side, but um, apart from that, they seem to have the most fun. So, uh, yeah, I think uh, I think I uh, plumb for Lannister. Yeah, I can't I can't say I blame you. All right. <laughs> Well, David, it was super exciting. I, I had a great time having you on the uh, Dr. Tom the Frog Show. Thank you for coming on. No, thank you very much. I really enjoyed it. Thank you, Dr. Tom. You just watched the Dr. Tom the Frog Show, and we hope that you liked what you saw, yo. But if it was a big waste of your time, well, it's free, so that's not a crime. But if it was a waste of your time, Yes, it's free, so that's not a crime.